Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about white matter injury of premature HE imaging. Definition Very natal white matter injury occur before 34 gestation. Affected white matter is not always very ventricular or deep. Presentation Most common signs and symptoms may be clinically silent initially, plus minus E, EC findings, spastic dysplasia, visual and cognitive impairment. Other signs and symptoms, plus minus nitrocephalus, essential to look head size, to know head size before making diagnosis in order to differentiate X vacuum. Ventricular Clinical profile risk factor for white matter injury of premature. Pregnancy, low gestational age, weight, previous preterm, birth, spontaneous preterm, labor, intrapartial, preeclampsia, premature, rupture, membrane, chorioamnionitis, group B strep infection. Perinatal respiratory distress, patent dietary issues, decreased PaCO2, substance anemia, apnea, bradycardia, cardiac arrest. Demographic age, less than 34 weeks gestation, with median age of 30 weeks gestation. Sex, not independent, irrespective for why matter. Injury, ethnicity, poor antepartum care, increased fatal risk for primary injury. Epidemiology, a recent study suggests decreasing incidence of cerebral palsy and cystic PBR. More than 50% of patients with cystic primary injury develop cerebral palsy. Imaging ultrasound reliable for more severe or late disease, less reliable for mild, moderate, or early disease. Acute finding, patchy, globular, fussy, or increasing functionality in periventricular and deep white matter. Subacute and chronic finding, cluster of periventricular cells. AMA, reliable for entire spectrum of disease. Acute finding in G2 hyperintense, G1 hyperintense, G2 hyperintense, OC, hyperintense, SWI, GRE, OC, with MHC, ADC, MRS, lactate peaks, or increased excitatory neurotransmitter, Subacute finding, periventricular cysts, coronal finding, periventricular and deep white matter volume loss, type of common and more associated POSs. This is uh, a head ultrasound in the five year old, former 27 weeks gestation, gestation of age. In terms of globular increase, a cautionary in the periventricular vimera consistent with ischemic injury, intraventricular hemorrhage, and deep gray nucleus and sounds were also noted. This is a ultrasound one month later, so that the previous scene pulsy the focus of increased cautionary has now evolved into cystic encephalomalacia. The new ventricular megaly is slightly due to volume loss and absorption by blood flow. And this is so the sound, this is the sound, so bilateral periventricular vimera cavity adjacent to the frontal horn, not the mild frontal horn, the lesion, the lesion, 
secondary to early bimetal volume growth. C2 amide in a 18 day or former CT2 weeks gestation, gestational age in pen with glycospid atrosia demonstrates patchy upon pen, signal in the malatrophy the ventricular deform manner. Consistent with ischemic injury. This is G1 AMA in a former 28 speed chest station in pencil cystic pussy in the periventricular wire mirror and really and post really. The pattern of injury reflects the distribution of immature oligodendrocytes in the brain at the time of injury. It is T1 come out in an infant with very ventricular glomerulatia. So the characteristic square of morphology of the ventricular trigon. Note that the para, paratolo gyri extend all the way down to the margin of the ventricle without the normal intervening white matter. Treatment. Improvement outcome by coincident and coincided with increased use of antenatal steroids, genital antibiotic, arterial line placement, and serpentine use. Thank you.